Well, I said I was going to do a quick five minute vlog about various bits of kit that I use. And as I've been driving around this morning in the snow, it struck me that probably one of the most important bits of kit I've got is my vehicle. And I'm not on about the fact that she's a camper. I'm on about the fact that I can get from A to B very safely in adverse weather conditions. I'll pop up a couple of short videos that I took as we were driving along. how important tyres are. Tyres connect you and your vehicle to the road and if you want to get out to places that are out in the sticks when it's raining, sorry, well, yeah, when it's raining and particularly when it's snowing, you really need to know that you've got a good set of tyres on. Okay, so tyres. These are winter slash cold weather slash snow tyres depending on who you talk to and what they've decided they want to call them this time. There is a little symbol just there, which I'm hoping this will focus on. That's it. That just indicates that it's cold weather tyre. They look pretty much like any sort of normal round rubber thing that you put on your wheels, but the compound they're made of doesn't go hard in low and sub-zero temperatures. I think it's below eight degrees that they really come into their own the sipes and the grooves because the tires don't go don't get hard in cold weather they move around they grip the snow and it's that that gives you the extra grip as you're driving along <clears throat> now these i don't know what they're called euronics or something they're only a cheap set i think they were 48 quid yeah 48 quid a tire and i i seriously wouldn't be without them i run them front and rear and i have done for the last eight years you've got superb water clearance and the ability as I say because they don't go hard ah there we go euro winters just make that out because they don't go hard they still allow the tyre to move around which gives you the grip that you need in cold weather and it grips the snow the snow packs up in here the snow grips up in these and that's what gives you the extra grip that's it, I'm just going to sit back inside because it's, it's raining and I've got a down jacket on. Winter tyres, snow tyres, whatever you want to call them, they work phenomenally well. I first used them about eight years ago when I had a company car. I was hooked. And my previous two vehicles that I've owned and Maddy have all run on a set of four winter tyres. I feel as safe driving in the snow as I do driving in the dry now. I, the, even this morning, I came up over the top end of Sheffield. They're just amazing. And if you want to get somewhere, you don't want to end up in a ditch. You want to know you can go out safely. Some people will say, yes, yes, but it's very extravagant. And I guess to start with, maybe it is. But my summer tires will go back on April, May time, dependent on what the weather's gonna do. So I only get six months wear out my tires at a time six months during the summer then my summers come off and sit in the garage while my winters go on so yes i've had to lash out and buy two sets of tires but they last me twice as long so in the overall uh, name of the game they don't cost you any more than normal they also work in wet weather the amount of water clearance that you get from those tires is phenomenal 
generally speaking, and not always, I, I'm quite happy to admit, generally when it's wet, it's cold. And again, because the tyres aren't going hard, you get the extra clearance of the water. You come around a corner and you've got water all across the road, aquaplaning is a very likely possibility. To say, I'm not being sponsored by any tyre company whatsoever, but I would say that if you can do it, get yourself a set of winter snow cold weather tyres. When they first came out there were snow tyres, then they went to winter tyres, now I think they're just cold weather tyres. Uh, admittedly, we get the odd days where we've had, well, a couple of weeks ago we had a heat wave for February. The driving experience becomes a bit different then, it's like driving on treacle. But yeah, I class it as part of my gear. It's an essential part, whether it's muddy or whether it's been my previous two vehicles, it's an essential part of my gear. So try them. It, they really will, they're a game changer in cold weather and, and snow and rain. They really are a game changer. So that's this week's gear talk for five minutes. Nothing really to do with photography, but life in general, and certainly the increased ability to get out and about in your vehicle when there's snow on the ground and do it safely. Catch you next time.